Oh, man. Did that get you? Ooh. Ooh. Pat. Yeah, I like that. What do you think of that guy? Oh, dude, love it. Okay, so that's got some real interest. That's really glowing. You can, you can see how the bottle has changed shape. Whoop. A little purple halation there. I'm just blowing that honker out. That's the cobalt taking on too much light and it's completely fl flipping it out. Oh, that look, platinum that actually looks blows. good coming right down the yeah. middle of platinum. Hey, Rob. You got a question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When you're executing something that doesn't require seeing the reflection, yeah. is there any merit to shooting on a transparent surface and lighting bottles from below? You would think that that would work. It doesn't necessarily translate that way. Um, the liquid actually has to have, it's again, angle of incidence equals angle of reflectance. So when you're lighting straight up, it, really your best view of that light would be straight up on the ceiling looking down. Um, I mean, you would think that that would, that would be the case. That works actually very well on video because your naked eye kind of sees it and so that light kind of works, but it doesn't translate the same in flash. You've got to have something that brings it back through and back down into the camera. Again, it's that same principle of light, angle of incidence equals angle of reflectance. Pat, what are your thoughts on that? that uh, the only thing I... Well, it's just maybe this monitor is a little hot. I mean, I was just worried about reading the label. Do you know what I mean? It looks like, like on this yeah, it looks monitor, like it's glowing like, a little too much. Yeah, on like on this monitor, it's like it's really hard to read. Uh, but on well, that one, it looks oh, that one it looks really nice. Well, what's happening there is that the platinum is actually lighting up from the inside, which yeah. looks really weird. Yeah. I like what's going on with the body of the bottle. Yeah. I think that's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, so we could use that as the body, but not for the label. Yeah, sure. I mean, I don't mind the some like some of the glowing for the, you know, the word, for platinum, but it just might be a little so much. So let's let's mark that, Gary, for the liquid interior. All right, and then let's go back a couple and see if we have one for the actual front label that we like that's going to work. Yeah, like that's yeah. much better. Yeah. So just for readability. Yeah. yeah. So that we're going to grab for the interior. So what we're doing here is we're looking at components again. I'm breaking this bottle down into components. On the shot, <coughs> excuse me, on the shot where the, where the bottle was really glowing and we loved it, the interior of that silver was lighting up and the, and the letters in between were lighting up and it was looking really bizarre. It was, it was glowing too much. So we're going to take this logo on the front and we're going to drop that in on the, on the other bottle and we're going to mix those two together. So you've got then a really good front label and you've got a good bottle liquid coming through it. Is this glowing enough? Yeah, I think so. I think it'll be all right. Hey Rob, yes. what are the challenges or differences between photographing the blue bottle versus a regular brown beer bottle? The blue bottle is tougher because it's so much darker. It kind of doesn't look like it to your naked you eye. Um, you'd think that a brown bottle would be as dark. Um, it's not. The brown bottle actually is much more amber in its tone, particularly if you look at it when it's empty or you hold it up to light, it's much more amber. And the beer is also amber, so the color just kind of comes up naturally. You actually have amber liquid with a blue bottle, and those two colors fight each other. So they actually get muddy. When you put light through that, the amber and the, and the blue are just fighting each other. They're competing. So it makes it much harder to light the interior of the bottle. That's why one these cobalt bottles are some of the, of the hardest bottles to shoot. Yeah, we're looking at the necker. The neck. Yeah. Um, this one we shot six ago. It's not bad. It's got a little, a little purple, but. Well, it's also not tack. I'm going to have to, I'm gonna okay. have to shift, my, shift my focus back a little bit and get that, get that uh, neck a little bit tack. So, what we might want to do is go ahead, we can bump that Bud Light up. I, okay. I don't think the light on it is awful, okay. but I think it's going to need to be pushed up, right? Okay.